Hey, this is Plat MFG on Plasma Spider. I uh, just wanted to run through a quick tutorial how to change a color image into the black and white that you want. Take your image in Photoshop, okay? Make a copy of your image. Go to Image up here. Adjustments, second one down, and you're gonna go to Black and White. Alt Shift Control B for those of you that are fancy and like hotkeys, okay? For this logo, I'm going to turn everything to black because actually first I'm going to go image, image size, okay, resolution at 300. Now, you know what, I'm probably going to go to 600 right now just to like really pump it up. Um, now I'm going to go to image, adjustments, and I'm going to go to black and white, Alt Shift Control B, okay, all everything that I've gotten here I'm gonna make sure this is all black this isn't necessarily something I would do on every picture um, some of it might end up in the white depending on what uh, what I want to be white maybe I want this blue part of the logo to be white if that's the case then I'm gonna change that blue dial over to the white side I hope you can grasp that <clears throat> okay um, from here I would take the brush and I would be brushing this in, um, give it a little bit better structural integrity. Uh, it's, it looks kind of weak with only the laces of the baseball holding most of this together. Look, the line even disappears right here on the bottom of the hat. I'd be putting that in because this shadow is about to go bye bye. Make a new layer, okay? Um, on your original layer, magic wand tool. Click the black, highlights all my black, it's all together, good to go. Click over to my new layer, my empty layer. Alright, click onto that. I'm going to use my brush. Okay, my brush is set to black, and I'm just going to brush this real quick, hit all of it. Okay, make sure you do it all right the first time. And now you can see, look, now I have a black image, and that's all there is to it. Come in here, fix this. Take your brush really quick, um, shrink it down. Those are the square brackets. For those of you that are wondering what in the heck is going on here, it's too small. Okay, just I'm just gonna fudge this real quick. Um, take the hat, run it in this way. Get rid of these stupid circles. Whatever. I want to make this connect. It might not necessarily be. This is the way that the uh, logo is. But this is the way that you want it, okay? I promise. It might look like this on your baseball cards, whatever, you Yankees fans. I'm not saying I'm a Yankees fan. I had somebody ask me for this file a little while ago. Um, I figured I'd do a tutorial on it when I did the file because it seemed pretty simple. You can do this for faces. You can do the exact same thing, okay? I did this. Give it a little bit more structure. I'm not going to add this part because that is part of the logo. <clears throat> All right, so file save as okay Yankee whatever save it as whatever you want alright okay in Illustrator I've actually already got one open because I was just trying to do this tutorial and it didn't work so file open and I come down here New York Yankee logo one open that okay <clears throat> yeah go ahead all right, so now what I want it to do is I want, I'm going to want it to flatten the image. And it's not going to open because I deleted it. I'll open New York Yankee logo one. Okay, flatten layer to single image. Okay. I'm going to scroll out on this. This is the way that I do it. Shift. Hold shift when you make this bigger, and I want this a lot bigger, okay? Because it was only like a 4x4 four four circle. The bigger you have this, when uh, when you live trace, the better. So click your image, hit live trace, okay. It's going to smooth all this out for me, make this look really clean. See, and this is a, a big, this is huge. This is probably like 4 foot by 4 foot square that we're sitting in. So if you shrink this down to four inches by four inches, it's gonna look that much cleaner. Okay. Um, if you need to make adjustments, hit Object, 
live trace, tracing options, um, color photos, you're going to mess with the threshold and it can change to black and white. Um, the rest of this you're going to mess with the path, fit, path fitting, probably crank this to 10. Okay. The minimum area, if you're working in 300 uh, PPI in Photoshop, you probably crank this to somewhere between 6 and 700. Um, your corner angle, you're going to put this probably between 60 and 90. Okay, and then hit preview. It will show you what you've got going on here. All right, so now have your object selected. Hit expand. Right click on your object. Ungroup. Okay. Now this is the wonderful part for those of you that have a hard time seeing is my art going to stay together or um, am I going to have pieces of it fall apart. When you click the black, one piece of black, move it over. You can see this is what it's going to look like on your table. These red lines right here. This is what it's going to look like on your table. Okay. Anything that's black is going to get left here. All the black stuff. I don't have any black stuff. So my whole file is attached and I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, I'm going to hit control R because I'm looking for my zeros. This is my zero. This is so this is the left side of my table. I want to change this to global rolls. Okay. Left side of my table. And this is the bottom side of my table right here. Okay. So when I hit file, export. You can export this as a DXF Yankee level one. Save. Yes, I'm going to replace it. Like I said, 2004, 2005, 2006, one to one, eight colors, uh, PNG, preserve appearance. If you go above eight colors, it'll Plasma Cam freaks out a lot. Okay, go into Plasma Cam. Let's see, here's my first one. You can see how um, how crooked the lines are and just skiddly wampus because it was so little when I brought it in. Now when I hit import and check out the I know sweetheart hold on okay and bring in the uh, Yankees logo when it comes in okay this looks a lot better and look at how much bigger it is so I can scale this down now now that it's in here and it's still gonna look good but when I brought it in as a four inch as you can see um, it was a it was a lot rougher of a DXF, so this here um, is the way to go. Do it big, make your line smooth, um, and and it'll turn out a lot nicer. You don't always, I mean, having a larger image sometimes can be more uh, more system responsive. I don't know what do you want, to, what do you call it? Um, harder on your system, so be it. But look at how much cleaner the lines are compared to that little four or six inch one. If you would have stretched that one out, you would have had really boxy corners. It would look like crap. This would look good. You could cut this out, throw that right in a bar, and be ready to roll. So that concludes my tutorial. Um, if you want to see the other one I was working on for faces, I can show you right now just really quick. Um, kind of the same deal I was going over with Photoshop. If it's going to open for me. Okay. Here's a photo I was doing, Jessica Beale. She is some hot stuff. Uh, made, cropped around her here, made her black and white, darkened her up, uh, darkened the skin up with the red and yellow. Created a hold control, click the little square on the right hand side that uh, shows your layer. Click the picture on there and it will uh, put a trace around this automatically for a selection. I made a new layer, filled it in white right click rasterize the layer while I was over here um, and had the uh, outer shadow or whatever I put on it okay so here she is again and then uh, went through I did a layer for her shirt uh, doing the uh, exposure taking that lighter or darker uh, than her hair and her face and then I drew most of this in following the lines in her hair and her arm here. If you do the fire style, or the fire style, people tend to like that a lot more than, than just like swoops and droops. Oh, my puppy dog. Didn't realize that was in here. So here is my uh, transparent over my color. And you can see um, it looks like a comic book figure. If it looks like a comic book when you've got it sitting on here, you are probably doing good. 
and if it looks like a good looking comic book you're probably doing even better okay and I guess I don't have a copy of my uh, my see-through silhouette maybe that was this uh, nope I don't it's just sitting over the there it is right there that was my final my black and white and I've just laid that over over the color so this is what my cutout would end up looking like something to take into consideration I'm gonna try out some uh, uh, vector magic some people have been talking about um, when I do I'll give you a tutorial on that one have fun